Well, good morning. I am coming to you from uh, the Lamar ISD Notatorium this morning. So uh, this week I've gotten the chance to bring Aubrey, our daughter, here for swim practice in the morning. Um, she's competing um, for a, uh, she'll be competing at State next week in Brownsville. Um, so this is the first year she's ever done swim. So we're excited for that. It's something Lauren did in high school. And so it's fun to see our daughter enjoying that as well. Um, I'm also trying to take a little bit of extra time off this week just to catch my breath. It's, uh, it's been a busy few weeks, uh, as you can imagine. So, um, so anyway, so coming to you from here in a t-shirt, which is not my typical. So anyway, so a little more casual this morning. Um, but wanted to share in this Wednesday reflection, uh, just add encouragement with you. So one of the things that God's blessed me with over the last sort of six months to a year is um, we began looking at the transition of possibly coming to Cornerstone and, and me moving to a completely new role as a lead pastor. Um, one of the things that I was blessed with, intentionally sought out, and then also God brought my way in a couple of different ways, was just pastors who had been faithful over the long haul, who had walked with Christ um, faithfully, had walked and shepherded well over a, a season of, of life, and, and so over multiple decades had led um, as pastors and churches and still came out of it loving the Lord, loving his church, um, and all of that. And so um, met with Bob C., who pastored, uh, I think, for 40, 45 years. He was the first pastor at the last church we were at in Longview. He, he was there for the last seven years of his career. Um, and then met with a guy named Don Geiger. Don Geiger uh, used to teach at uh, DTS in Dallas, but he was the pastor of my wife's church growing up for 30, 40, 50 years. Um, he's now in his 90s. Um, and those were just sweet times. I spent a couple of hours with each of those men, getting their input and their wisdom and um, hearing from them uh, about what they had learned over the years and what it looked like to, to walk faithfully um, uh, over the long haul uh, as a pastor. So, And then this week, I had another sweet one. Um, on Sunday, had um, the pastor who... Uh, was called to pastor a church 38 years ago uh, here in Richmond. Um, and then 36 years ago, he was the pastor under which this preschool that's now coming to our church was established. Uh, so that preschool's been around for 36 years. And, and he retired just before COVID, um, but he served faithfully for 30, 40, 50 years, uh, 30 or 40, 45, somewhere there, uh, years in different churches. And, um, and so I saw him on Sunday and got to meet him, which was great. And, and I said, John, you've got a joy uh, in, your, in your eyes and a sparkle in your eye and in your voice of being here on a Sunday morning. It's clear that you love being with God's people, that you love worshiping him. You love the church. Um, John, I'd love to get together with you and hear like, what, how, did you, how did you do it? How do you get to this point in your career and you still love the Lord, you love his church? Um, and I just said, I, I'm always curious because I just see a lot of burned out pastors, uh, pastors who get jaded or walk away. Um, and so we had been joking up to that point in the conversation and John uh, got really serious. He said, okay, well, let me get serious for you. It says, it's all about staying connected to the vine. And of course that comes from um, Jesus speaking in John, and I should have looked up where this was, so I apologies. Um, but in John saying, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who remains in me and abides or abides in me and I in him. Um, and talks about how our strength and our source um, comes from Christ and comes from the Father. And so John just said, stay connected to the vine. You know, there's a lot of to-dos. There's a lot of things you could do. Stay connected. So church, that's my encouragement to you this morning. Uh, it was a good word for me on Sunday, um, and I wanted to encourage you stay connected to the vine. Um, so if you look back on the last week, if you look back on the last month, if you look back on the season of life that you're in, um, have you been connected to the vine? Are you not only in at church on Sundays and hearing from the word and being around the, the God's people on Sundays, are you in his word throughout the week? Are you praying? Are you intentionally walking with the Lord? Are you abiding with Christ? Which can look like a lot of different things. I think the, the things that it does look like is you're hearing from him, you're hearing from his word, um, you're seeking to walk with him uh, and walk in faithfulness, but you're also saying, Christ, let me become more like you. Are you fixing your eyes on Christ? Um, are you just spending time with who Christ is, what he has done for you. Those are just ways to abide. Um, there's also ways to abide in the sense of just resting in God and Christ's goodness. Um, I had a, uh, somebody reminded me of the Mary and Martha story yesterday. Kristen, actually, one of our, our, our staff members, our children's director, uh, was just sharing uh, her devotional with the staff yesterday. It was so good uh, and convicting. And she shared about Mary and Martha from, um, from John 10, I believe. Luke 10, Luke 10, maybe. Um, and she was sharing uh, that, uh, you know, Martha's really busy, comes to Jesus. Hey, do you not care that Mary's not helped me? And Martha says, you're worried and anxious about many things. Um, 
and that Mary had chosen the better portion. And so I think that's one of the ways we can abide is by choosing the better portion, like Mary, to choose to spend time with Christ, to fix our eyes on him, to think who he is, what he's done for us, his, love, his great love for us. Um, and I think like Martha, at least for me, I can get very tempted uh, to be worried and anxious about many things or just at least to get busy. Uh, so, and I, I don't think I'm probably the only one uh, like that. So that's my encourage, encouragement to us this morning from John, a longtime faithful pastor and from Kristen, uh, our children's director yesterday. Let us not be worried and anxious about many things. Let us choose the better portion and spend time with our savior. Let us abide in the true vine that we might have the strength and what we need to endure over the long haul. That's my encouragement to us this morning. Hope you have a wonderful Wednesday, and I will see you on Sunday. Take care. Oh, hey, Sunday, uh, baptisms. Don't forget to join us for baptisms. Uh, the people getting baptized have chosen to get baptized in the second service. So um, we'll probably try to do it a little earlier in the second service. So encourage those of you coming to first service, stick around early in the, in the second service to celebrate with us before running up to ABF or running off to back home or wherever you need to go. Um, join us for that celebration of life, uh, new life in Christ. So, all right. Love you, family. I'm